heck of a state championship game, Jim. Well, the stage is set. 39 seconds left. Ten by three. St. Mark's, of course, bidding for the first perfect season since 1975. William Penn bidding for back-to-back -back state titles. A lot on the line for both of these fine squads. B.J. Blake has John Gordon, man-to-man -man William Penn. 35 seconds left. Knocked out of bounds there by you go. Blake. That's okay. And a foul. That's exactly what they're planning to do. They're not going to let him get into their offense. That's only two team fouls against William Penn. B.J. has three. So they're going to try to muck it up for the last 30 seconds, make sure that no one knocks down a three ball for the Spartans. Here's Carlson. Now Gordon. The screen by Vanker Coven. A double screen. Gordon needs help. Gets it to Malloy. Now Gordon for three. Crawl. It just rolls out. Great rebound. Looking for a crawler there. And a foul. Gary Lumpkin is pumped. Penn has begun to celebrate. You don't want to celebrate yet, believe me. One and one. The St. Mark's is going to call timeout right now. Well, they want to ice John Green a little bit. Let's keep it here, Angie, and talk a little bit about uh, the foul shooting problems that have plagued William Penn. If you look at what John Green did in the first half, he was three for three from the stripe. John has stroked the ball well. And right now, he's probably one of the ones Jimmy won on the line. But more importantly, Sith is talking about what's going to happen when he misses it or when he makes it. Because either way, you've got to get the ball down the floor. He's going over a couple of scenarios. Let's go for the three if he misses it. John Gordon was on the money with that shot. He just didn't get the roll. But at the other end, Jimmy's telling his kids, when John makes the first one, no fouls. If he misses, though, they may want to revert back to the strategy where they can foul the dribbler and bleed some precious time off the clock because Penn's still in the driver's seat, up three. 17 seconds remaining. State championship on the line. I want to thank our director, Rob Grabowskis, audio replay, Renee Schumann, camera people, along with Joe Pence, James Giddens, our engineer, Willie McGuigan at the line, John Green. Trying to ice it for the Colonials. Kicks out, Banker Coven rebound. Still got 15 it. 15 seconds remaining. Look for Gordon and a three. Gordon, fouled on the three-point attempt. The three-point attempt. I thought he fouled him before, but what did I tell you? There's another look. Oh, he fouled the three-pointer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you won shooting your fouls. John now, Gordon hasn't missed in the in the uh, in the final four. Now hold up. Six seconds left. Penn down by three. Three shots for John Gordon. These are not just average, everyday foul shots. <laughs> you talk about ice water running oh through the veins. My. He's got to have it. What's it all about? That's a lot of pressure for a young man and a lot of noise. First one goes. St. Mark's down by two. They're talking to Gary Lumpkin about this concertion, or uh, Dale Davis. You can't move your arms like that when it's a man's shooting. You can't hear yourself here at the Bob. It's too much pressure for one man. Hey, the second is good. You love to see it. <laughs> St. Mark's will press here, so Penn's got to be careful. Down by one. Gordon looking to tie it. He does. Tied at 49. Five seconds left. Gary Lumpkin. Oh, Penn. And that's, I got five on John Gordon. And now Gary Lumpkin goes to the line. Kids got to be careful here.
Here's another look. A lot of people on the arms. If we can cue it up and show the folks again, because that's John Gordon's fifth. In the end of a tremendous, here's another look. Gary doing what he needs to do. There's a reach. Oh my, 2.7 seconds. You'll have Gary Glumpkin on the line, one and one. This kid's a heck of a player. Tough way to end your career. McManus will check in for Gordon, who has shown very clearly what he's all about on the basketball court. You don't really have to say too much. Nobody is on their seat here at the Bob. 2.7 seconds remaining. Knotted at 49, Lumpkin to shoot the one and one, but we expected a close one. It can't get any closer than this. Hey, you're reading my mind. We anticipated a close game, but how about John Gordon? <laughs> Knocking down three, don't touch the rim, all net foul shots to tie the score with six and change. And now Gary Lumpkin with a chance to go to the line and how many kids have done this in the driveway? Two seconds left. State championship game. Score tied. One on one. What are you going to do? Yeah, but they're not doing it in front of 5,000 people. <laughs> well, the one thing that Gary's got to be thinking right now is worst case scenario, we go OT. Jimmy's got to remind his kids, especially Rasan Matthews and John Green, do not foul in this scenario right here. Sims has a couple of kids back. He's got. Utica and Malloy spreading the floor, but the guy you got to be careful of, and they're covering him. Rasan Matthews getting right to Alex Carlson. Gary Lumpkin at the line. Trains it. A little ice water there for wow. Gary. But you know, that gives him a chance to win right now, and St. Mark's is going to look for a prayer. These guys done a good job setting up. Sibs on offense, Jimmy on defense. Lumpkin's second shot. That one is good as well. Two point edge for Penn. One He's second left, Carlson. It. it goes! Oh. It goes! It goes! It goes! Oh. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! St. Mark's state champions! because we said it was Carlson, a prayer, and it goes. I'm just about speechless. Alex Carlson banks it home in a state championship and a perfect season for the Spartans of St. Mark's. We have William Penn players strewn all over the court, unable to move, so distraught with disappointment. But it's been that kind of a season for the Spartans. You talk about storybook finishes. Angie, say something. I, you know, Let's here's a look. Again. Gary go. Lumpkin knocks down two for one and one. A kick to Carlson. And they don't want to foul him. He just lets it ride. You know, you still can't believe it when you see it on tape. At the buzzer. You know. It's a shame somebody loses this game. There you go, a little sportsmanship. Jason Banker, Coven, John Green. What do you say to William Penn? They did everything they had to do, but it's almost like it's meant to be. Who are we talking to after this game? 52-51, <laughs> St. Mark's wins the state champion. Congratulations to William Penn. A tremendous ball game, lightning in a bottle by the Spartans at the tail end. Going to break away here. We'll come back with post-game activities after this timeout on the Game of the Week.